Alright guys, this is chapter 3 of my, my Mother 3 LP. Uh, my name is Arianya, in case you didn't know that. And uh, this chapter... This chapter is one of my least favorite chapters of the entire game. It, uh, it tears my heart into pretty much every single time. If you don't like animal abuse, I suggest that you just skip over this entire chapter. Suspicious peddler. But, um, yeah, for the first half of it, it's going to be complete grinding, and I will probably speed it up. Or I will just do it off screen. But, uh, this chapter is completely full of animal abuse. Yeah. Get used to that. Just get used to that. It'll happen this entire game, pretty much. Well, not the entire game. It'll happen for this entire chapter. And uh, you will see some of it in the, um, in other chapters, like, just, uh, I think we saw it before already in the last chapter. You should recognize the monkey, because, uh, he was with, uh, Facade here, the guy with the white hair and the mustache. And our monkey's name is Salsa. However, it is a boy monkey. So, um, don't worry about that. And I totally didn't even read his description. I'm so sorry. Usually I do that, but I didn't that time because I'm just... I'm dreading this chapter. Based on his agreeing with everything he's saying, just so we don't get zapped unnecessarily. You see how he pointed to the left? Well, that means that we have to hit the left arrow. I believe. I did it and it didn't work. That's so weird. Yeah, he points to the left. I point to the left. There we go. Okay. I guess we hesitated too much. And I point to the right, so you have to point to the right. Or hit the right arrow, rather. And then down. And then do a backflip. By pushing the up button. Oh, just... Oh, I... Oh. Okay, so, I'm sorry if I sound really just, meh, nah, for this episode, I, I just, I really don't like this chapter, I don't, I don't know what else to say. I, uh, have very strong feelings against animal abuse, and, oh, now he's crying. We is up for crying, just, it's so sad. I love how they put sad music there because this, this is a complete torture thing, but uh, yeah, um, I said we because we do play a salsa, and you can go ahead and look at his goods, he has nothing, uh, equipment, nothing, he's basically stripped of everything, he's only level 1, so we have to, we have to go ahead and start working. Thank you, Mr. Frog. I don't need to save my game, I already, um. I've already saved before the chapter started, so. Hey, let's go ahead and go this way, and like I said, most of this is complete, uh, complete grinding, and I will show you why. 
if you go ahead and go to where he wants you to go now, um, you you can go ahead and fight, but it's a mini boss where you have to go, and you really want to be, um, you want to be, I believe, level. Not too sure. I know you'll be at least level 10. I will go ahead and double check that in a moment, but um. Anyway, this is the best way to level up. Uh, this is one some dung. <laughs> I don't have any dung to roll, so I'm not true dung beetle. I'm so sad. If you kill these dung beetles over here, uh, they're, they're, they're scattered all around the, um, the desert. There are several areas of desert. You bring the dung back here to him. He'll give you some experience, and he gives you a lot. So, uh, I'll go ahead and demonstrate that real fast for you guys. I want to get a of attack on him. There we go. He snuck up on a dung beetle from behind! Oh, so close! But basically, you're not going to be able to do much damage for now, so you have to rely on a... I don't think we've got any dung in that battle. But we can heal up from the water, but you won't be able to do as much damage until you know, you level up a bit. So you want to just basically kill the dung beetles and when you get the dung, bring them here. And you have to rely on facade to kill the enemies for now. Otherwise it's gonna take you a while. I right, here we got some dung. I, I went ahead and just put that in there. And here you bring it to him. I want to roll dung. I don't even care what type, what kind it is. And we brought him some, and uh, and those fights are only getting two experience. You bring it here, and we get five experience points. And we leveled up, yay! You get to level up music and stuff, and I right, what'd you say? I finally tried rolling that dung you gave me, but I was so nervous I accidentally dropped it in the oasis. So basically, we can just keep bringing them here. And uh, that's how you're going to be leveling up. So... I can't decide how I'm going to do this quite yet, um, I don't know if I should just go ahead and speed this up or, uh, cut it out. Uh, I think what I'll do is I'll go ahead and post it on my Twitter and see if I get any responses, and if not, then I'll just make my own decision. So, I will be back shortly, and, um, I guess you guys will see what the verdict was, so, I'll be back soon, guys! Alright guys, I'm back, and um, thanks to you guys, I had decided to go ahead and do all the leveling off screen. Now it's best if you're a little bit higher than this, uh, I think level 9 is the minimum, but um, I usually prefer to be around 15 to 19, but oh my gosh, I'm recording this at a completely different day, I'm sure you guys can already tell or you notice or anything, but um... Yeah, this was not recorded at the same exact time, and because of that, I just, I just want to, ugh, the, the, the grinding took way too long, and I probably should have just sat down and watched a movie with it. <laughs> Normally, I just sit down and I watch something while I'm doing it, but I, I don't know, I just, I got tired of it, which I'm sure is normal. Come on. If we got a running bomb, that, that would be extremely helpful. If you get any items such as nut breads, you want to keep them. You want to keep all the healing items because they will be extremely necessary in the next fight, in the boss fight, so. Here we have a luxury banana. However, you are not able to eat it. Facade will take it from you. And he will eat it right in front of your face. Because he is... Um, he's mean. He, he's mean. <laughs> and, um... There is something here where I don't like doing this, but I'm going to show it anyway. Yeah. You can actually slip and fall on the on the banana pill, so. But that's there. I wish we could have it so facade slips and not salsa, but. But uh, that's just not going to work out. So you should be able to just ignore all of the fights here by just running past them, but sometimes the game doesn't want to work with me. Now here we have some bug spray. And then over here we have... More running bomb. Because the bug sprays are extremely helpful against the ant lions. The ant lions are... Uh, those things in the pool. I will actually demonstrate it in just a second. Oh, 
wrong place. Uh, here, if you want, you can actually sit here and collect this, these dung. There's usually more there, like that. You can just collect this and take it back to the dung beetle if you want more experience. So, anyway. That's not the place I wanted to go. Here we go. Alright, this is where we want to be. Also, I need to go pick that up, so... But let's do this first. This sign is just talking about sand frogs, blah blah blah. And here there's a slave frog. However, he's stuck in an antlion hole. Oh no! Okay, so here, I'll go ahead and use the bug spray. Just to demonstrate it. Let's see, where is it? Bug spray. And it's pretty much an insta-kill for the antlion, so there you go. And we get a flea charm for that, yay! <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna go ahead and see my games for one second. Alrighty, so let's go ahead and go. I'm sorry if I seem like I'm rushing this a bit. I, I don't intend to, but I did notice that I've been skipping the text a little fast. Um, I'm sorry, I'll, I'll try to watch it, but no guarantees. There's a present over here that I want to get. Oh, is this some nut bread? Well, I'll go ahead and get it. Why not? Because I need to eat one so I can be at full health. Yay! Alright, now let's continue. I believe that's all the items except for one more, which we can get when we go to the boss area. Alright, so this is the way to the boss. And, um, basically... You want to avoid that white building. You want to go up here and get this present. There's an Aquarius bracelet. However, we don't have any room, so I'm going to go ahead and eat another uh, nut bread because I lost three health, and nut bread is extremely useful for that. And uh, here, I want to go ahead and equip these things. So, oh, we got now we have way more defense. That's going to be extremely helpful. And here's the boss. That doesn't look very happy. No, I think you're the meanest thing in this desert. Oh my gosh, I, I hate facade with everything. But anyway, let's go ahead and fight this guy. Alright, so basically what you want to do, uh, since Salsa is not a major party member, he's not even a permanent party member, you can go ahead and use all the items in his, uh, in his inventory. So I'm gonna go ahead and use a running bomb on this guy. Go ahead and get some easy, easy damage done on him. And then you want, from there you just want to do monkey mimic. So every time he hits you, you do the exact same attack right back at him. Like that. When you drop down a certain, uh, when you drop down to a certain HP, you want to heal up. Just because. I usually do it around, um, if I lose, if I'm down to like around 20 or so, I, that's when I decide to, uh, to do it. I can do it one more time. Alright, now I want to go ahead and heal up. Nut bread! Alright. This fight is really not that hard. Uh, you can sit there and try to combo him to death, but the easiest thing really is just sit here and use a monkey mimic all day. Especially since Facade is going to hopefully continue to hit him and do consistent damage. There we go. See? Easy. I do like to be higher level just because I like to get all the level grinding out of the way at once. But um, hopefully this won't be too, too bad. And there we go. Now let's go ahead and heal up again. Let's see. Oh, you can use these in Battle of the Ancient Bananas. However, I... Probably will never use them, so I might drop them soon. Alright, there we go. And we want to go in here. Now because, uh... There wasn't really much in this episode so far, I'm gonna go ahead and make it a little bit longer. But we shall see. Until then, we can just explore. Alright, here's a... Oh, present, we got some more bug spray, awesome. Which is nice because there are bugs in here! We have a violent road, so I'm not sure if we've seen these guys before. We might have in uh, the Asahi Castle, but here you go. 
Was it the Asahi Castle? I think it was the Asahi Castle. Maybe it was something else. I don't know. But yay, we leveled up below 13 now. I get some nut bread. Okay, more healing items. It's always, always, always uh, helpful. And here, if you guys remember, the blue presents mean that we get maps. So now we have a map of this place. So that red dot is where we are. We basically want to go all the way. I think we want to go this way. Do we want to go this way? I believe so. I think we want to go to the left. So there we are. Okay, there's safe frog. Some presents. And a pork bean. <laughs> of course. Alright, well first, I want to go over here and get these presents. What's in this one? An ancient banana. And then over here... Oh, uh, this, uh, machine with a little face on it. It's an instant revi revitalizing machine. It makes you think of Chrono Trigger, and I'll show you why in just a second. Go ahead and drop one of these ancient bananas, because I will never use it. I'm sorry, if you guys wanted me to, I might, if I have one left over, but... Wow, now why that makes me think of Chrono Trigger is because they have instant revitalizing machines, I believe that's what they're called in the game. Um, and basically, uh, in one specific area, when you use them, it it says after that, but you're still hungry, and it always makes me think of that. <laughs> Alright, so now that we're done there. I know he's just telling you how to, uh, control the, the bean. Alright, so if there are any, uh, items, you have to, uh, stop the machine and just go check them out. So let's see what's up here. Nothing up here? Alright, I was right. We do want to go to the left. So if there's any presents or, I or enemies you want to fight, make sure you fight them. Like, yeah. Alright, let's go ahead and fight one of these guys. Let's get off and go fight one, just to show what they are. Are we in an open area? Excuse me? Alright. Just so I can, you know, have a full... Not really a full beast area, but just show you guys so you're not missing anything. In case you want to walk through this. Oh, these are little balls. Look at that. That's cute. See? Do you have to sneak up on them or something? No? That's really interesting. Anyway. Sorry, I've never actually walked through these before, so I have no idea what these enemies are, but I guess you can't fight them. So let's just get back into the, uh, the pork bean. I'm learning with you guys, it's alright. Alright, so basically, uh, this pork bean, it controls like if you're running, where you don't have to hold the button in the direction you want to go. You just have to hit it once and it'll continuously go that way, until it hits something or you push another direction. So, but this, the graphics in, these, in this game is so beautiful. Just the amount of attention and detail and, yeah, it's all very, very pretty. Right here, there's a pit stop. So let's go ahead and check this out. It's a chick bandana, we do want to pick that up. So let's go ahead and drop a... I'll keep one of these just for you guys. So let's go ahead and drop this one. And here we have a chick bandana. Let's go ahead and equip that. Raises our defense even more. And then what's over here? Some nut bread. I don't really care for that. Sorry. Okay, what's down here? Okay, we don't want to go that way because it's blocked off. Oh no, look at all the treasures. No! Okay. <laughs> Alright, let's explore a little bit. Is there anything over here? No, just... These are the machines that we saw when, um, at Asahi Castle. That's the pork bean. at the pork beans the pig masks were using to travel so all right there's another save frog in case you want to go ahead and save i did just because i like to save often so let's go ahead and continue
You do have to press B twice to get off. Just remember that. Here we have some more bug spray. I don't really care for that. Well, maybe I do. Let me go ahead and get it anyway. Um, good. How many nut birds do I have? Alright. Alright, let's go ahead and do this. You never want to give up the option of having an item that can hurt. So, what's over here? <laughs> this is basically, um... It's just like, I guess this is where the game tells you or instructs you how to use a running bomb. So, drop more nut breads because we have beef jerkies. Oop, I want to pick that up. Alright, I'm only going to use one in this fight. But this is a required fight, so I'll keep it in. These are gooey goos. Gooey goos. Okay. Go use a running bomb because it hits all enemies. And there we go. I think why you have to use running bombs here is because you can't hit them with physical attacks. But apparently I was wrong. You can hit them because he just did. Yeah, there we go. See, this is super easy. However, they can they can split up and uh, become two instead of just one, and it's really annoying. And here we have a mosquito charm. We already have a flea charm, so can you guess what the mosquito charm is? <laughs> it's basically an upgraded version of the flea charm. I know it's kind of disgusting that we're wearing bugs as armor, but it's alright. And here, this area might look familiar to you guys. Does it look familiar to you guys yet? Oh no, it's a zombies! No! We are in Tasmili Village. We did a complete turnaround, didn't we? Right, let's go ahead and head, do what he says. Talk to this frog. Now let's go ahead and talk to this guy over here. So apparently the, the, the... So apparently the bag of money that Butch has was given to him by Facade. So... Let's just continue on. Oh, here, here's where we run into du uh, Duster. Now the, I love this game and how it makes you reenact scenes um, multiple times because when we were Duster we saw the monkey we were just like oh look it's a monkey but now that we are the monkey we all we are salsa we know his story it's just like you get this sense of of longing to escape and he he sees another human he's just like well maybe you could save me but then he rem he, he remembers that he has to stay the facade to save the other the other monkey. So I guess we did find out that um, Facade did give it to him. We didn't know it was Facade, but yeah, he, he traded some pigs for it. <clears throat> now as you can see, Facade and Salsa are right there, listening in. We didn't really get to see that when we were Duster, so... But here, they were obviously listening, so basically what's gonna happen is that uh well we'll see so uh let's go and go to the audio just remember that duster isn't the only one who knows that it was there not everyone apparently exactly all right let's talk to this guy
Alright, so you point it down, so you want to make sure you hit the down button. I can't believe he's bringing money into this where there wasn't even money. However, since we're alone, we don't want to disobey him, so we need to just go and go straight to the room. If you do anything wrong, he will zap you, so just be extremely careful what you do. Of course, also having to sleep on the floor. We're awake. Let's go ahead and save. Alright, I went ahead and saved, and in the next episode, we will go and find out what Vasad was doing, and then we'll continue on this chapter and see if Vasad can find any sort of help and get out of the situation. So, being quiet because it's nighttime, but be sneaky. Alright, guys, if you enjoyed this video, please show your support, and if you want to see more of my videos, go ahead and go ahead and hit the subscribe button and i will see you guys later with a new video all right guys i'll be having a fantastic day